Kovna was a beautiful city. Yes, there was anti-Semitism. Few people know how anti-Semitic the Lithuanians are. They're exceptionally anti-Semitic. But, you know, you can get used to anything. Uh, and there was Jewish culture in Kovna. They went to Rosmarin uh, to have, uh, that was a delicatessen where you get anything. You went to Kapulski, that was where you had a coffee. And in fact, Kapulski's opened up in Israel. He survived part of the family. They opened up a coffee place in Israel, coffee and parojna, pastry. By the way, I have some Russian in my Yiddish because my father spoke seven languages. So I, I you know, I don't even realize it sometimes. It's a Russian friend that says to me, Oh, that's a Russian word. <laughs> so um, anyhow, they went to the Narodne Dom, which was a theater uh, where a lot of Yiddish performers came uh, from America. Um, two of the very famous Yiddish performers that came were the Jacobsons, Jaime and his brother, uh, uh, ja the Jacobsons. And they did Chiribim. Uh, chidi bim, chidi bom, chidi bim bom bim bom bim bom bom. The song became so popular that a ganz kovna hat sich gerudelt mit chidi bim. Everybody was chidi biring. So it was a real uh, Yiddish cultural world. And my father was very social. My mother not so, but my father knew everybody. So they would go out in the evening and they would go on the sosse on the boulevard. You know, because yes, there was anti-Semitism, but you knew where not to go. You know when not to go, you know, because they were very highly Christian. And there were certain holidays where you didn't go out. Uh, there were certain times when you didn't go out. Uh, so quite honestly, if not for the war, my parents undoubtedly would never have come to America.